Hello everyone, it's Benny, and as of this video, you should be able to go to the C++ version of the 3D game engine, download it, and if you're on Windows, you should be able to open up the Visual Studio solution in Visual Studio 2012 or newer, build, and be good to go. If you're on Mac or Linux, you should be able to either open the CodeBlox project and build, and build it that way, or build it with a makefile and get an executable that way. If you do build with a makefile, though, I think it's worth mentioning, you'll need to make sure the resource folder is in the same folder as, or, you know, it's in the same directory as the executable when you actually run, but other than that, you should be able to just build that way. And yeah, so it's finally done. It took me all week, took all my free time for a week, so unfortunately, that means I don't have any of the new material for the subseries prepared for Monday. So I'm yeah, I'm pretty much not going to come out with a video on Monday for or the new stuff. Sorry. Hopefully I can get something up on Wednesday. If not, hopefully on Friday. It's just, you know, didn't expect to take all my free time for a whole week to get the repository updated. And, yeah. But yeah, if you, if you encounter any issues building the repository, let me know, and I'll try my best to address them. Other than that, I'll see you when I have the new video prepared for this first subseries which is going to be on more advanced rendering mechanics. Things like normal mapping, which I showed off in 3D Game Engine Video Zero, or things like anti-alias textures, or translucent objects, or shadowing, or what have you. Just more advanced rendering. That's the first thing I'm going to be talking about. And yeah, I'll see you then, whenever I have that prepared. <laughs> Thank you. See you then.